Hello, hello, YouTube people, and welcome back to the fifth discovery of the map pack uh, for the Arctic Gaming Experience 2022. The Trigmana tournament taking place in Malloy in northern Norway in around one month. Uh, yeah, the maps for this tournament are fully out. I did already discover four out of the five maps. So uh, for you YouTube guys, if you want to watch that, then just look at my channel. You will easily find them. But for today, we're going to take a look at the very last map, which might actually be my most favorite one so far, because it's built by none other than Firestorm, who is uh, yeah also an okay boy. And usually, I really, really like his maps. So I am definitely, I definitely have high expectations for this one. So I would say without further ado, we're going to hop straight in. Overkill kit, thanks a lot for the gift set, by the way. Going to Lois, thank you. <laughs> and let's see. Okay, that was wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna go here, okay. Nah, scheiße. Okay, so here and then here. Aha, then we go here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zack, zack, yep, yep. Ne. Plastic into jump out. Okay, then here the risky route, I guess. Yeah, I guess you already want to have the upper gear there. But yeah, quite fast dirt section here. I see, I see, I see. Then we jump here, I guess. Okay, into sausage, into... That was the wrong side, fuck. Nah, no! No! Okay. So, then suck. Then... Uh, into the plastic. Okay. Jump out. Right, left slide, I guess. Outside pole, aha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so far so good. So far, we only had one ice map uh, point over the whole maps. That's actually interesting. Oh, this, oh my god, okay, this one's tough. Okay, now my respawn is Omega fucked, but you wanna jump from right to left and land in the slope there. Ay, ay, ay. That's uh, difficult, but okay, let's see. I like the start. Good for me. From here, small easy slide into the plastic. Probably don't want to oversteer as much as I did. And here, this was a no slide, right? Yeah, this is full no slide. I like. More no slide is always better. And yeah, then you are in fifth gear already, and then you don't get a gear on. Then smooth dirt here. Yeah, I see. I know my boy Firestorm. Here, tuck into the sausage, then here, jump out. Then watch out for the gear. Aha, uh -huh. then plastic. Yep, yep, then jump up again. Then what's this? Then the outside pole slide. Nine. Ah, oh, it was such a clean run until then. And of course, the tech turn fucks me up. What else? Fuck tech. <laughs> okay, then it was this, and now let's make the risky finish, maybe. So we jump from here, we jump here. And then we jump here. Ooh. Tough. Tough, but cool. Is it my most favorite one? I actually think so, yes. There's no really, there's not really a part here where I'm like, oh yeah, mm, that will be bad for me. You know? Like, there are a few tech turns, of course, but even those are, like, pretty doable. Ah, nice slowdown. Thank you, Nadeo. The start is tough. You guys are so stupid in the chat, man. <laughs> Such a map. It is? Okay, so. You already have 50 all the way through. Not sure if you can keep it all the way here. Probably not, though. But you can keep it for quite long. That's good to know. Then the U turn, of course. Then here the dunes. And then we're already to finish. 
That's not too difficult of a risky finish. Oh god, I almost failed it. Never mind. And there we go. Off your time and world record already. So I got a clean run here pretty uh, easily, actually. So, uh, yeah, quite intuitive map. Really, really cool. Is the safe finish faster? Uh, no. You would have to slow down. I mean, we can try, but you would have to slow down a lot. And although it is nearer, it's probably going to take longer. But we can try. Actually, we don't need to try because if it's slower or if it's faster, then uh, we'll get fixed anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. enter this kind of high so that you have like more exit speeds here. I yeah, kind of like this look I am a bit behind but I have more exit speeds so I will be ahead now. At least that's my plan. Yeah, zack, look. I have to release her so much. Ah, dude! This edge is always coming out of nowhere, man. I always think I can go tighter than I actually can. Ah, scheiße. Uh, I don't think cuts are allowed. As for every proper competition. Or like, tournament that is meant to be like serious. Or like the Raider Cup. Probably like this, and then you have way more speed. Seems like a good plan. Ah, drop the gear. That's definitely bad. You don't want to drop the gear here. Can not recommend. Okay, and suck. Now don't get fucked by the edge. Yeah, kept the gear as well. Nice. Should be small PV here. Oh wait, I wanted to go for the... No, okay. I mean, uh, with that respawn, I can't. Unlucky. But yeah, I don't think it's faster. Uh, let's do a few more runs here. Only 8 minutes in so far. I don't know if it's also the easiest map, maybe. Could actually be. Not because this one is extraordinarily easy, rather because the other ones are so difficult. Hello. No, come on, man. The start, the start turn is like literally the most difficult part of the map. The dirt here because of the bump. I'm going to do sub uh, things now.
Who qualified for the Malloy Cup? Yeah, no one yet. A few players are already um, are already pre-invited, which are also known to public. Uh, there are four people that are known yet, which are uh, Carl, Peck, Kappa, and Afi. And there are also some other invited ones, which I also partly know about, but I cannot tell you because it's not known yet. But uh, yeah. But I guess there will be eight people um, invited overall. Sadly, I'm not one of them. Unless I get last minute invited for whatever reason. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here's how you drop the, here, here's where you drop the fifth gear, the latest. You cannot keep it further. <laughs> Nine! You fucking da Luke would have been 89 man. Okay, no. We're only 12 minutes in yet, as far as I can see. Or like 11 minutes. So we have a few more times. Not virtual? I mean virtual is also invited, but like... Not as a pro player, of course. He's gonna be there as well. Honestly, I would love to see how... I mean virtual is obviously a good player, like... Obviously. But he's mostly good at, um... Like more weird maps or like RPG maps, etc. Also full speed and ice, you know? I would love to see Virtual playing one of those like high competitive uh, tournaments. I would love to see how it does. That would be really interesting. But I think we will never be able to convince him for that. That would be interesting to see. I mean, there will, there will like, over in Malloy, there will be, like, a, a, a streamer tournament taking place. Where, for example, people like Surveyor will probably take place, because he's invited as well. I don't know if he's actually gonna come, but there was once a post, like, half a year ago saying Surveyor is gonna come to Malloy. So I guess it's confirmed, I don't know. But, you know, things can change. And, yeah. So there will be a streamer tournament. Then there will be um, a pro tournament, of course, which I will hopefully take place in if I qualify. And there is also um, a tournament taking place for like the local juve. Surely not gonna miss it. Oh god, that was close. 82. Solid run, I would say, of course, improvable by quite a bit. But I think I can live with that for now. Uh, we got a question. Uh, do you think it's possible to slide and jump into the finish? Um, you mean go into this? I mean, I'm, I, I don't really bother now. Like, I don't think it's faster. And even if it's faster, it will be forbidden anyway. So there is no point in trying. So, uh, yeah, I would say now, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough for the map discovery of Nordland A, the Meloy map built by Firestorm. And with that, since this is the fifth out of five maps, this is also going to be it for this this uh, for this discovery series here. We have five really difficult maps, all highly competitive, um, very difficult to master, very technical, but also partly very transitional, but all of very high quality. And we now have yeah two weeks basically to um, to practice them as best as possible for the open qualifier. So that will be pretty pretty difficult. But, uh, yeah, looking good, I think. The maps are looking good, so I'm definitely motivated to practice them. I definitely like them more than Team GL maps, for example. So, should be pretty good, and I should be able to, uh, you know, convince myself to practice as much as possible. But, uh, yeah, for the discovery, and for the YouTube people, of course, now, uh, I hope you enjoyed this series, and also this certain video. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.